Hi, I'm John Hallis from Dauntless Endeavors. In this video, we're going to go over the detailed disassembly and reassembly of the bolt on a Ruger American Rimfire. This one is chambered in 22 long rifle. A beginning with an unloaded rifle, we're going to remove the bolt from the rifle. And in order to do that, we've already opened it up. We're going to press the bolt release and the bolt slides right out. Now like most bolt action rifles, this rifle is what's called a cock on opening action design. And so when we reconvene at the tabletop, the first thing we're going to do is decock this bolt. Before we dive into this, let me address why you would even consider disassembling your bolt in the first place. Uh, the only reason I did was I wanted to measure headspace with my headspace gauges and I didn't want the mainspring messing with the feel of the bolt as I was easing it closed. Uh, especially in centerfire rifles with a stronger mainspring that can kind of disguise the feel. And uh, so I didn't want that. So I took it apart. And what I found was even after having fired over 1,500 rounds, this bolt wasn't very dirty. So it, this, this video uh, in complete disassembly of your bolt does not need to be part of your regular firearms maintenance for a uh, Ruger American Rimfire. Um, on the other hand, maybe you've got thousands of rounds fired through it. Maybe you got all wet in the rain or for somehow some other reason you got it just filthy and you want to take it apart and clean it up, stay tuned. It, the first thing we need to do is uncock it. When, in order to open up the action and remove it from the rifle, um, it's already cocked. So what we need to do is we're going to grab a hold of this portion of the bolt body with our G.I. Joe Kung Fu grip and we're going to push the handle down. Right in here is our firing pin and it's in the cocked position and if we to rotate this down. It's in the fired position and it releases as much tension off that firing pin that we possibly can. Okay, the only tools we're going to need for this assembly is a small uh, 1 16th inch or 1 8th inch diameter uh, punch and a small little screwdriver. The first thing we need to do is we're going to go to the front end of the bolt and we on the right side we need to get that little screwdriver underneath this extractor retaining spring. So I'm going to sneak in underneath right here and pry that up. Just like that, I pried it up out of that slot and then just walk that off. All right. Once we do that, the extractor will come right out of its slot. There's still a little bit of spring tension put on by the firing pin spring. And we need to compress that slightly and then push the pin that pins the, uh, the uh, bolt shroud and, and holds everything together. There's just one pin that does that. So I'm going, to, I'm going to grab a hold of the bolt body, push down against the table, and I'm just going to compress a little bit. And while I do that, that firing pin spring pushes right out. It has to be in the uncocked position in order to do this and I'll explain why just in just a minute. So once I take this apart I have the bolt shroud, firing pin spring, and now my bolt handle and firing pin will slide off together. They come out and that is everything. What do we have? eight pieces comprise the entire bolt assembly for the Ruger American Rimfire. 
Here's our firing pin. And one thing I want to point out, the slot in the back of the firing pin is where the bolt assembly pin goes through. And at the very back end of it, right here, it's slightly larger in diameter than the rest of the slot going forward. And what that means is, here's your little pin that holds everything together. That pin will only go through the hole in the very back. Anywhere else and it won't slide all the way through. It has to be, that's why I said it has to be in the uncocked position to disassemble it. And also, you know, once you have it together and it's cocked, that pin won't come out either. So if you try, and you grab your hammer punch and beat the daylights out of it, you might get it together, but you probably screw up your rifle too. So make sure it's uncocked. All right, let's reassemble this bolt. Uh, the first thing that we need to do is we're gonna take the firing pin. Keep in mind that this uh, little tail on the back of the firing pin, that is the bottom. We're gonna slide this back through our bolt handle like so and now we're going to put these two into the slot of the bolt body. That slides together like that. Now just to double check your cocking piece should be riding back and forth like that. It's easy to do because I don't have the spring assembled on it yet. All right. If it's not looking like that, double check, make sure you get everything lined up properly. Okay, that's together. We're going to insert our firing pin spring into the bolt shroud. And we're going to slide that down over top. Now remember I, I pointed out that bottom, that tail end of the firing pin, that's what engages in the sear. And that has to ride down in the bottom slot of your bolt shroud. So it's going to line up like that. And this will, it's under spring tension, but it's not a great amount and it's pretty easy to, to handle. I'm going to hold on to my bolt shroud, my bolt body, and I'm going to compress that all the way. Take my little bolt spring and slide it back in there. If, um, once you compress it fully, you might have to let off just a little bit, like a 64th of an inch, in order to get it to uh, line up so that bolt. But you shouldn't have to hammer on anything. It should just slide in. And then once I get it in place, I double check to make sure it's not sticking out either side and it looks good. All we have to do is put the extractor back into its slot. The little claw goes in, facing the end towards the rim of the cartridge where they would be held. Now this little retaining spring, I'm gonna get it started out on its shelf, right there in position where it's gonna where it belongs, and I'm just gonna walk this spring right around until it clips back in to the slot where the extractor goes. There we go, it's all back together. The bolt won't go back into the rifle unless it's cocked. So in order to cock it, I'm going to grab a hold of the bolt body and just crank up on the bolt handle until it's in the cocked position. Now I can, now I can reassemble it into the rifle. And there you have it. Also be aware that there is a compressed spring in there and be prepared to control that, uh, that tension so that you don't launch any parts across the floor or, or into your eye. I'm John Hallis from Dauntless Endeavors. Have a great day and be safe.